Assalamu alaikum dear students this is your subject teacher ms javeria gill and we will continue with the rest of the topics of our previous class in this week 5 and 6 and our week 5 and 6 topic is transpiration first we have to discuss what actually transpiration is and how it takes place in plants we know that root absorb water and minerals from the soil but most of the water absorbed is lost in the form of water vapor into the air this process is called as transpiration now the question is how transpiration takes place in plants in plants the water required is absorbed by the roots from the soil with the help of root hairs by a process called osmosis the water is further transported upward through the stems to the leaves through xylem tissues which act as pipeline xylem cells have thick walls water then enters in mesophyll cell through stomata stomata are opening on the leaf surface through which transpiration takes place the stomata are surrounded by guard cells which help the stomata to open and close transpiration takes place during daytime when the stomata are open transpiration is also done through the lenticels which are minute opening on the stem lenticels are less in number compared to stomata transpiration also takes place from the leaf surface leaves are covered by a waxy layer of cuticle which is called as cuticular transpiration the cuticle actually helps the leaf to reduce the amount of transpiration taking place transpiration in plants can take by three ways one with the help of stomata through lenticels and from leaf surface transpiration is very important to plant transpiration pull helps water rising to the leaves against the force of gravity the rate of transpiration in plants is equal to rate of absorption always this is how absorption of water takes place with the help of root if transpiration is more than absorption the plant will lose its turgidity and this will lead to dropping of leaves stem and flowers like all living things plants must reproduce to continue their species by replacing those that die in plants flowers are the reproductive system of plants they contain the reproductive organs the male reproductive organ are called stamens and those produce the male reproductive cells or gametes contained in pollen grains this is the diagram of a male reproductive organ here is above the top of the pollen grain there is anther and right below this is the stalk which is called as filament whereas the female part of flower is called carpel or pistil and they produce gametes called ovules inside an ovary for reproduction to be successful pollen grains and ovules must be brought together through a process called pollination this is the picture of female reproductive organ where on the top of a sticky uh, material is present which is called as stigma 
the process of reproduction in plants passing on of characteristics plants reproduce both sexually and asexually sexually through flowers which are the reproductive parts of the plants the transfer of pollen grains from the stamen to the carpel is known as the process of pollination and this pollination can take place with the help of insects insects such as bees visit flowers to collect nectar and pollen for their food the shape and structure of the flower means that while the bees are collecting food their hairy bodies becomes covered in pollen grains after that the fusion of pollen grains with the ovules in the ovary is known as fertilization fusion of both male and female reproductive cell is called as fertilization the fertilized ovules becomes the seeds now that was all about your topic plants and their system now it's all about your home task and your home task is attempt question number 6 7 and 8 in your science copies whereas question number 9 is you have to solve in your book thank you so much allah hafiz